So today I'm talking about a Hyundai with the P0441 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Hyundai P0441 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission system incorrect purge flow. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. This is for emissions. And the onboard computer seen a problem inside of this, so it's going to have to be troubleshooted. No, why? And depending on the year, the Hyundai and things like this, there can be some differences for exactly what's going on inside of the EVAP system. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your specific year and things like this to know for sure what's going on. But the basics of what's going on inside the EVAP system is that you're going to have a hose and the gas vapors are going to leave the gas tank. They're going to go through this hose and they're going to go over to what's called the charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister does different things. It's basically like storage for the gas vapors. And some Somewhere on or near the charcoal canister is, is going to be what's called a vent valve. And the computer opens and shuts this at different times, mainly to test the system. It'll shut it and then test the system and things like this. And the vent valve can be separate from the charcoal canister, but usually it's combined together inside of the charcoal canister. And then a hose is going to leave the charcoal canister. It's going to go up to the top of the engine to what's called a purge valve. And the purge valve basically opens when the engine's running so the gas papers can go in and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. And so what would be some possible causes? Well, the first thing to go and check is going to be this gas cap because that is a part of the EVAP system. It does need to seal correctly or else it'll cause a leak inside the system and it'll cause issues. So the first thing to go and check is going to be your gas cap. Be sure it's not cracked, damaged, anything like this. Be sure it's sealing. But the first thing to go and check is going to be the gas cap. The next thing that could cause this problem is going to be the purge valve. And this is going to be located up on top of the engine. It's going to have two hoses going to it and a wiring harness. One hose is going to be coming from the charcoal canister and the other hose is going to be going directly into the engine. And this opens up when the engine warms up so that the gas vapors can go into the engine and get burnt off. And so this would be the next thing to go and check. There's some different ways you go about testing this if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the next thing to go and check is going to be this purge valve. The next thing that could cause this problem is going to be that there's a leak somewhere inside of the system or one of the components is leaking or something like this. And so while you can go around and try to check all the components, all the hoses, things like this, check to see if you see any leaks going on, it can be very difficult to find a leak in an EVAP system. If you took it to a mechanic, what they would do is they'd use a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the EVAP system. And then wherever the smoke come out, they would know where the leak's at and they'd be able to fix it. So there's some low-cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. You can even make these up yourself. There's like some videos on how you go about making these up for like five, ten dollars. But however you want to do it, the next thing to do would be to go around and check to see if there's any leaks going on inside the system because if there is, and it's going to cause issues. And this is going to include the charcoal canister and the vent valve, which is going to be located up underneath the vehicle somewhere by the gas tank. It'll be a square box looking thing. And usually that vent valve is combined with the charcoal canister. It's usually inside of there with it. Sometimes these get stuck open or they get stuck closed. Like the purge valve is just a simple valve that opens and shuts when the computer tells it to. So you can't go and test this or you can't go and check to see if it's if anything's leaking around it or anything like this. So this would be the next thing to go and check. And also keep in mind that any of the wiring going to any of these components, like the vent valve or the purge valve or anything like this, if there's any kind of issue going on in the wiring, it's going to cause the same issues as the bad component. So be sure to keep that in mind. If you go around and check everything and you just can't seem to solve this problem and you're still having this issue, then it is possible that there's some kind of problem going on with the fuel tank pressure sensor. And the fuel tank pressure sensor is what's reporting back to the computer what's going on inside the system. And so if that sensor fails, there might not be no problem inside the system, but the computer thinks there is since that sensor has just gone bad. So that is something to keep in mind. The fuel tank pressure sensor is usually located with the fuel pump. It's usually located right on top of it. But again, be sure to get a diagram for your specific Hyundai. But the last thing on the list to go and check would be that fuel tank pressure sensor.